time of year and then um, the marks place to add some uh, three young talented players that, that our scouts identified and liked and you don't get those opportunities uh, a lot um, you know we, we were uh, as a club we're kind of in between and what I mean by that is uh, you know sometimes this this time of year it's clear uh, you're you know you have a outstanding chance you're the favorites you're um, you know, maybe you haven't quite punched your ticket yet but you're on your way and then you're looking to finish off the club uh, there are other times in 2007 where you know clearly we, we weren't good enough and this year we're, we're a little bit in between those two spots so a little bit of a challenging call for us to make uh, ultimately you know we felt that the uh, the package that we got these these three uh, young players it was clearly over the line for us and um, and so we decided to make the deal. What else? <clears throat> Would a trade like this, fans will draw conclusions. Um, how, how do you address that with the team, with your manager, um, about expectations going forward? You know, there are times uh, where you know, we maybe have made a trade uh, to acquire a player that, you know, the, the message sent and then the, the results on the field aren't always the same thing. Um, and so, it, you know, you may add a player and not play well on the field. You may trade a player and because of a variety of reasons, uh, even un, a disconnected from that, play better. Um, I guess what I'm saying, I don't necessarily view us trading a player, although, you know, trade best pitchers in the game, uh, you know, that doesn't necessarily affect, especially the four days he, he wouldn't be pitching, how, how we play on the field. Um, you know, I, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of our guys get going. Uh, uh, you know, maybe some of the younger players are getting opportunities right now to play. Uh, looking forward to seeing Robbie and, and Brett Nicholas get opportunities to play more. Um, you know, I, I don't think that there's going to be any sort of lack of uh, effort, uh, competitiveness, desire um, from, from our group. We've won before with, um, you know, when he was hurt or when other guys weren't here. Is it more challenging? Absolutely. I mean, that, that was something we weighed in and, and uh, had to factor in. Uh, but I, you know, I think we're going to put a quality product out there, and you know, these guys are going to keep fighting and stand this thing. Hey, John, two things. One, was the decision to make this deal predicated on you guys thinking you might or did not think you could sign him as a free agent in the offseason? No, it really didn't play any, any role at all in the decision. I mean, I, I think um, we made a call based on this offseason, um, knowing that, you know, if you don't sign your own free agent by opening day, you know, usually it, it, he's going to test the market, right? Because if you, especially if you wait till the middle of the season. It happens once in a while, but so does, you know, a guy leaving and coming back. And so... I didn't feel like the, the odds really changed a whole lot. And, and quite frankly, we haven't made a call, uh, you know, as far as our off-season plan yet. We've got some ideas and we're still we're talking ownership about different things. But, you know, we weren't ready to, to declare here in July exactly what our, uh, our um, plan is going to be this winter and things that we're going to look to accomplish. Uh, so it didn't make sense to, uh, you know, pass up uh, a lot of talent for, you know, what I, something that I didn't really think was going to affect the outcome of a, a quick friend of the decision we weren't ready to make. But last thing, you guys made a big commitment to get him, both from the amount of money you paid uh, uh, for his contract and then the posting fee to get him. John, do you think it was worth it? I do. Yeah, I do. I, I think we, on a variety of levels, um, uh, but ultimately, you know, he, he was outstanding when he was on the field for us. Uh, pitched at a, at a level very, very few pitchers uh, do. Um, he got hurt. That's the nature of the game. Players get hurt, pitchers get hurt. Um, but he produced at an extremely high level when he was here. Um, I definitely want to just take a second and, and you know thank you for his time here, thank you for his efforts. Um, you know, we kind of brushed by the fact that, what was it, I guess six years ago when he, when he came over, that uh, this wasn't just a new team, this wasn't just a free agent coming from you know, the coast. This is a, a new country, a new organization, a new culture, a new ball, a new mound, new travel schedule, a new language, new teammates, um, you name it. And um, you know, he made every effort to assimilate, uh, 
to learn our, you know, the baseball ways of doing things and, um, you know, he's been an outstanding teammate and the whole deal. Uh, sometimes maybe a little misunderstood publicly just because I think early on uh, comfort level with the, the language uh, publicly, you know, still working his way up. Um, but, uh, man, what, what a, I really have a lot of admiration for how he handled it. And then uh, for his whole family and his wife Seiko and, um, you know, really wish them, them all the best in L.A. And, uh, you know, we'll stay in touch and see what happens. But I just want to thank those, uh, you and his family and, and as your representatives and Sugar and, and Yuji and, and all the you know, good people that have, that have worked with them. Uh, hopefully you guys in the back will stick around. Sam, not you, but the rest of you guys can stick around. <laughs> um, uh, but, no, I mean, really good. And uh, Although I want to thank, uh, just recognize our, our scouts uh, that worked first of all, years back to, to help us. It, it sounds like uh, what you just described is the kind of player you would want back on your team. So, I mean, it, you, do you foresee <coughs> being involved this offseason? Yeah. We'll see. You know, I, I don't, um, sitting here in July, I'm not ready to, to uh, spell out our offseason plan. You know, we've, we have some meetings to, to take place, uh, sit down with ownership and kind of map out a our plan this winter. And we've got a long-term plan, but things change. You know, we very well could. I mean, certainly it uh, uh, checks a lot of the boxes of things that we're looking for, but uh, right now he's going through the Dodgers, and I wish him well there. I have 